the main challenge I recently overcame was um, wanting to represent Australia in a competitive team sport, like at the highest level. When I was younger, I wasn't really a massive sports fan, but um, it was always around. I played, um, first played wheelchair sports when I was, I think, 10? Oh, yeah, it was about 10, after watching my brother play, so I got into it then. At that time, it was really um, more like um, about having fun, and I guess mucking around with the other kids before and after the games, because yeah, it was like I said, I was 10 at the time. Late 2010, I think I really got back into sport then and wanted to take it more seriously, I think. Being in high school, seeing all the other guys play sport, I think I wanted to like do the same thing, you know, playing a team sport. And after I think like it was yeah mid two thousand and nine, I went to the the chair full time, so I knew I couldn't participate, you know, in the physical sport, you know. I think after I got back into wheelchair sports through, I was invited to a demo. I think it was through like MDQ or Montrose or something like that, and I got into a demo in Brisbane, went up there and I think that's when I fell back in love with the sport and decided I wanted to play at the highest level and you know, get back into it competitively. Being involved with the team was great but I was always disappointed personally because I wanted to make the All-Australian team which was like the the top six players across all three sports. There was no international comps but I just wanted to be one recognised as one of the best but I just always kept falling short in that. So. I get, like compared to some players, I was a lot stronger, but I was still struggling physically. Like, the hockey was, well, you could use a T-stick if you didn't have the upper body strength, but you kind of, if, you, if you're a bit weaker, you tend to struggle. So I started getting the sore shoulders and I never ended up making that team. But the 2013 news year, they had a demo for Pouch of Football at the end of the, end of the competition. And... I'd heard about Poucher Football, I think the first heard about Poucher Football late 2011. And then 2012 I was, had a few hits with one of my mates on the Gold Coast. But I'd never really, there was no local comp at the time, so I'd never seen or participated in a proper game. That demo at News was the first time I'd actually been, got to participate in a game playing against some of the guys that had played at the, the previous World Cup. And after seeing that, that like changed everything. I was like, this is the sport for me. like. It's so like equal playing field. It wasn't really based on physical strength. It's more about the chair control and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, after getting home from news, yeah, I was like, this is one I can achieve. Like having, like knowing there was international options, like to play chances to play internationally. Um, I decided when I got home that I wanted to do this and go to the next level. So, the first year at that nationals, I missed out on the Ditch Cup, which was the Australia versus New Zealand team. So I didn't get to participate in that. But then, all of a sudden, at the end of that comp, like, start 2014, I was in the team playing, like, to play for Australia in Brazil. So, I was like, this, this, it was, yeah, I played in Brazil. We played at the Copa America, I was representing Australia, and we, put, we were in Brazil playing football about a month out from before the FIFA World Cup. So, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so, but with that tournament, we fin well, we finished in second place, so that was pretty cool, but that tournament was more if, if you could afford it, you could go, so there was no selection process. Mid-2016, that they wanted expressions of interest for players for the World Cup, so yeah, I put mine in like straight away, I was like, yeah, this is something I definitely want to do, like, you know. The money is another challenge as well, but, you know, you make, you make it work. And after Nationals, the National Comp in 2016, they had the, the trials for the select, like selection process for the um, World Cup team. So they would, all in the one training day, they would like, every hour or so they would cut the team. They would cut four players out. So it was like, pretty, it was pretty crazy. You know, you're so nervous sitting there waiting, like everyone calling out their names. And yeah, they did the training day and then they ended up with 12. And they finished, that was the end of the training. So there was the 12 players and the, the, the announcement of the team was coming later that night. So yeah, we we're in that 12. And, that was that was pretty scary. I think they announced maybe four or five players before they they said my name, and then you're yeah, freaking out like, is it gonna happen? And when they called my name out, and that, like, that was it really. I was like, shit, that was incredible. <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. Going through that selection process and being selected in the final, like the top eight players in Australia, that was the most rewarding thing because we put that effort in compared to Brazil. Like that was incredible, but to actually 
fight for selection and be come out in like one of the, like the top eight. Like that was, I guess that was the best feeling. Yeah. So we ended up finishing finishing fourth. So we didn't get any medals, but to finish fourth in the like was pretty good. Like yeah, finishing fourth and being around those top athletes was yeah pretty cool. For me, confidence has been the main thing. Like through sport, like it's. I mean, I'm still a bit nervous, like, for certain things now, like, doing, um, you know, always doing presentations on, at uni. I was quite nervous. I never wanted to do that. But at sport now, like, you see me, like, every day I'm a bit quiet. But see me at sport, I go to this whole other level. Mm -hmm.